Wow, the last year has been stressful and has caused a lot of anxiety in us. I don't think I have to spend much time explaining anxiety, do I? We have experienced it in so many levels. We've experienced it relationally. We've experienced it physically. Uh, we've experienced it politically. It seems like over the last couple years, uh, the world is, is creeping in, crushing in on us, and we just feel an unbelievable amount of anxiety. The thing, though, about anxiety, it can make us behave in ways that we normally wouldn't. Uh, it makes us sometimes be people that we never thought we were. Uh, but this is what I want you to think about today. It isn't so much on not being anxious, but it's what Paul reminds us just before he tells us in Philippians 4 not to be anxious. Notice what he says in Philippians 4 verse 5. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. What's it mean to be reasonable? Well, other translations will say to be gentle. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. And at least one translation says, let your graciousness be known to everyone around you. You see, what Paul is getting at is we as believers in Jesus Christ are to have a generous or a gracious spirit even in the midst of offense, even when people are harassing us, even when we seem like we're the underdogs, even when it seems like the world is collapsing around us and everybody's up against us. Uh, there's something about a person who can be calm, cool, and collective in the middle of chaos. Well, you know, as we look back in Scripture, we realize that that's how Jesus responded, didn't he? Uh, there are times, yes, where we saw his anger when he threw the money changers out of the temple. But most of the time, Jesus was reasonable. He was gracious. He had a generous spirit where he sought to help others and to seek out those who had need. Now, there's something else, another part of that verse that I didn't quite get to. Because after Paul tells us that our reasonable to not to let our reasonableness or our graciousness or our gentleness be known to everyone, he goes, the Lord is at hand. Wow, that changes everything, doesn't it? Because most of the time we lose control. Most of the time we get really stressed out because we feel like we're all alone and we feel like we have to control everything. Well, Paul reminds us that we are never alone. The Lord is at hand. And regardless of how crazy or stressful or anxious filled our life becomes, He's there. He's taking care of things. He is the judge. So here's my challenge for you today is take a moment and ask yourself, how am I responding? Do people see me as gracious? Do they see me as reasonable? Do they see me as gentle? I hope so. I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that.